Hey everyone, it's Fresh Slama here with Death Shadow Aggro today. Uh, this is after the banning of Gitaxian Probe, but it is before. Uh, oh no, not before anything. <laughs> um, all right, so our opponent is probably on like. Merfolk. So we will go ahead and play Blood Seamire, crack Blood Seamire, get. Uh, we don't have green. No, we do have green. We got everything. So we'll go ahead and get an Overgrown Tomb, pay the two life, and Inquisition our opponent. And our opponent is playing Blue Tron. Uh, wow, okay. Um. Mine power plant, huh? Okay. Um, well. They don't have a tower, so that's... That's always good. Uh, let's go ahead and... Thought sees our opponent. Oh, ho, 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 ho. they drew natural tron, but now they have nothing to play. So I think, let's see, it'll be a zero zero. Actually, if we play this, pay the two lives, cycle. We now have a 2-2 two -two death sh Death's Shadow. So, story checks out for me. Alright, let's see what our opponent does on turn 3. So, um... Yeah, let's see. So I think we're going to pay the two lives, and we will attack for four. And we're going to play Blood Rush, and we might get our guy bounced, which would be unfortunate, but it's going to get a fourth creature in our, uh, a fourth card type for um, Delirium for a transverse. Ah, uh, but it looks like they didn't have anything. So... I think we can go ahead and was that not four? That was creature. Oh dang it! I already had a creature. I followed that up. Ooh, that was bad. I hope that doesn't cost us. Um, let's see. I could. I guess I could shock our opponent and get back Gore Clan Rampager. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Now, let's see. If we go Coligan's Command, two damage to our opponent, destroy artifact, right? That puts them at ten. And then this puts them at uh, eight. Oh, no, that doesn't work. We have to destroy artifact, get back Gore Clan Rampager. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see. Does it matter how we do this? Probably not. So we'll just go ahead and, so we have lots of black mana. So we will kill Solemn. And we will swing for four. And hopefully next turn we'll be able to kill our opponent. 
uh, assuming they didn't draw, you know, um, Ugin or something. Uh, even a Karn would be pretty bad. So let's see. Well, we will go to the end step. And... I think we'll make... We'll return Gore Clan Rampager and make our opponent discard a card. And uh, Coligan's Command, always a good card. Uh, unless our opponent has no cards in hand and we have no creatures or something. All right. And Inquisition clears the way. Uh, sweet draw. But what does our opponent have? Okay. I am fine with that. Our opponent comes to cry too. But I think we're still going to go for it because I think the trick here, why would they have waited to do that if they actually had like a worthwhile spell in their hand? They would have said, oh, immediate snap, condescend. They waited. Which makes me think they have nothing and they're just hoping we don't go for it because uh, they did top, top. So, this is risky. It's greedy. I realize it. Our opponent might have bouncy, bouncy bounce card. May not have bouncy bounce card. We will find out right now. And they didn't have it. See, uh, they waited too long on the condescend. That's what the, made me have a hunch. And, you know, that was greedy and we got <laughs> lucky. But, uh, yeah, nice. All right, so we have some of these guys. Some Fulminator Mages, some Surgical Extractions, some Ghost Quarters. Uh, hmm. Let's see, what's not good? Tarfire, probably not so great in this matchup. And... You know, Abrupt Decay, our opponent played nothing that would make us think that Abrupt Decay was good. The only thing I can think of is it would be good for killing Worm Coil tokens, but I would much rather just prevent them from getting Tron ever, because that's, that sounds glorious to me. <laughs> so, all right, let's uh, try it this way, see what happens. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about like a Crucible of Worlds because a lot of uh, a lot of these sort of decks seem to have that sort of thing, but I think it'll be okay, especially with double surgical extraction. And we haven't shown that we have any kind of uh, you know removal for land, and we are playing like a super duper aggro deck, so. All right. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. We have we have we have a Tarma Tarmogoyf. We got the old Tarmy. Engineered explosives for one. All right. Uh, 
Uh, let's play Wooded Foothills. Now, I'm thinking since our, our life total really doesn't matter in this matchup, that... We should probably just crack all the stuff. But now, you know what, let's, let's just play a second fetch land. Since we drew that Thoughtseize, now what we can do is we're going to Thoughtseize away our opponent's remand and then play Tarmor Wife. Which is going to be nuts. <laughs> well, it's going to be sweet no matter what. Let's see. Uh, our life total really doesn't matter. And I, I know I keep saying that, but... Yeesh. We'll thought seize you, opponent. And he's just sitting there thinking, I'll just sit behind my remand. Uh, <laughs> uh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. So, are we going to take... Thirst? Are we going to take Surgical Extraction? I think we were taking Thirst. And we're going to take a... I think we're going to... Just get an Overgrown Tomb? Yep, we'll pay the lives. And then we'll get a... Um, Stompy Ground, we'll pay the lives. And Tarmogoyf. Good old Tarmy. And then next turn we can cycle a guy, make him a 4-5. Um, double strike him up. All right, Frank Catacombs. We'll cycle our Street Wreath. Hmm. Now, I guess the question is... Because next turn we can do 8 damage... Huh. Uh, I kind of feel like I should Inquisition, even though our opponent's not doing anything. But they might play something in response, which would be fine. What I'm really looking for is like an Oblivion Stone or. Uh, something like that. Uh, Bloodstained Mire. Okay. Yeah, I guess that was the only card they had that was under three. So do I have four Bloodstained Mires on this deck, or do we just have three? Looks like we've only... Oh, you missed the one in our graveyard. Ouch. So Platinum Angel and Worm Coil, huh? Okay. So we are going to play yet another Tarmy. Um, well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered if we gotten the one from our graveyard because we still had a Wooded Foothills, luckily, and we had a Verdant Catacombs in play. If that happened while we were attacking. <sighs> well, let's cycle this guy. So we've double four or five goifs. Um, hmm. 
let's let's crack these for some basics if we have them. Just because, um, I don't want to go down to three. <laughs> I guess is the reason. I'm clicking swamp, but for whatever reason, it is not pick. Oh, that was laggy. Okay. Now, I don't want to use all of our red. Let's go Fulminator Mage. And our opponent kind of has to counter this. And they did not. So we're going to attack for eight. And then we're going to wait till our opponent's upkeep just to make them think they have some kind of. Uh... Sure, that's fine. So that was a recent draw from good old Modern Masters 2. Now, I definitely don't want our opponent drawing a land, playing it, and then playing a Worm Coil. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're going to uh, Fulminator. We're not going to wait till our opponent's turn because it doesn't matter. Now, I think we're pretty safe because... Um, we can always get a. Uh, we can traverse the uh, whatever it's called. For a. A guy, a Gore Clan Rampager. Oh crap! I did it again. There's only three in our graveyard. Huh. That is a problem. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't foul that up and blow the game for us. Sure, you can remand that. I will play it again. And I don't think they're going to have another remand. They might. Uh, um, sure. Wow, this is brutal. We might lose. I blew it! Uh, I kept a very unaggressive hand because they had turn one engineer explosives. But it didn't matter until just now. Oh, Okay. So what's a treasure mage going to get? A warm coil? So we know our opponent's got double, uh, oh gosh. Oh goodness. Our opponent blocks as we expect. So we play Tarmi. That's fine. Because we play another Tarmi. And then we play uh, Death Shadow. 9-9. Nine, nine. Yep, that rebound might have saved our opponent right there just now. Because now they can play their worm coil, warm coil engine. Then we are screwed. Yeah, God. 
They do just enough crap to slow us down long enough. Um, let's see. I don't think they have anything worthwhile in hand. A platinum Angel and another Worm Coil, as we knew. So let's see. Um... Let's just play Tarmogoyf. And... I guess we're just going to sit back. Ugh. But yeah, that's that's the problem with... Uh, like, that's what's... This is playing against Tron. It's just like... You either win before they can win, or they win. And there's really no in-between. And Blue Tron is awful, but... Um, oh, goodness... Like, double repeal, remands were just right. Um, pretty brutal. Inquisition, okay. <laughs> That's enough. Because we can't compete with Worm Coil, and our opponent's going to draw a land eventually and play Platinum Angel, and we have no way to kill it right now. Um, I think I'm going to keep Maelstrom Pulse in this time, and I'm going to take out an Inquisition, just because it's not that good. Um, I do like Ancient Grudge also instead of, um, well, instead of Collective Brutality, because Collective Brutality is great against, like, creature decks, so you can get one for, you can get a minus two, minus two, plus a discard a card, but, uh, Ancient Grudge seems a lot better in this particular matchup. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, when I, I, I played the Trevors, the, uh, this right here, we could have gotten a Gore Clan, Gore Clan Rampager and won, unfortunately. Um, I was looking at Tarmogoy Power, thinking, oh, it's a 4-5, we're good to go, when it was really only, uh, you know, a 3-4 from our hand. Yeah, this hand's not, not workable. This one is not workable. This one is workable. Um, I don't think we want that. All right. So I think we're going to red-black. Yes. Inquisition. Um, let's see, what's worse? A remand or a condescend or an engineer explosives? Well, not the engineer explosives because we have a uh, coal guns command. So let's get rid of remand because that's the most annoying card. Sure. That one is not a huge concern of mine. Oh, another sugar wreath. All right, now I thought sees. Well, let's go ahead and make our opponent discard that. Um, condescend. We play our land for the turn. We'll pass the turn back. Did our opponent miss a... Oh, no, they did not miss a land drop. Okay. Let's see. All right, I like that. Um... All right, we're going to do this during our opponent's upkeep so they can they can tap out if they want. 
just fine. Stomping around, pay the lives. We're at five now. <laughs> and we are going to return a creature from my hand. And destroy an artifact. We're going to return a street race and kill that. Did our opponent draw a remand or another condescend? They did not. Okay. All right. Well, God, that was not, not a very good draw. But alright, we've got a 10 10 Death Shadow. Which is good for, for us. It's fine, our opponent can kill our land. And basically, we got two hits, and we kill our opponent. All right, after we swing, um, uh, let's see, our opponent's going to be at 10, and then I think we'll get a, we're going to get a Crack Our Verdant Catacombs, get a Swamp, oh, you know what, let's get Fulminator, yeah, so let's cast this, and then we'll crack our... Get our full meter. Uh, luckily, we, we counted our um, stuff in our graveyard, right? And we're going to get a full meter. And then we're going to crack this for a swamp. Because unfortunately, we can't get any uh, shock lands untapped right now. Because we have no manas. Well, no lives, rather. We have the manas. We have three of them. Which is exactly right. And what we're really trying to do is just keep our opponent from getting Tron next turn. So Swamp. And then... Fulminator Mage. And we'll probably wait till our opponent's... Uh, no, now. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking we could do it till the opponent's upkeep, but... The reason I did it now is because I don't want there to be any trickery going on, you know, um, and it just feels good. So now I feel like our opponent should concede, but let's see what happens. All right, opponent plays Ghost Quarter. All right, let's see what our opponent has to kill us. Uh, that is fine. We'll get a forest. Uh, being that our opponent is ghost courting us in a Tron deck, it leads me to believe that they don't have anything. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, in what universe... In what universe would you do that in a Tron deck? Um, oh, and they had the repeal. That's fine. We'll let them draw. We'll replay that. And then we're also going to play... Now, now, not a lot of people know this. You can play Surgical Extraction for a black mana. <laughs> Um, and I think we're just going to get, we're going to take repeal because that's the thing that annoys us the most. It bounces him. It's a pain in the butt. 
Uh, although it could, if our opponent drew an engineer explosives, that would suck. They drew a talisman. So I am not afraid, because I'm trying to think of what could stop us now. It would be one more engineer explosives. Uh, there's only one oblivion stone, yeah. We've got this under control, folks. And that's probably the game. I'm trying to think, what could our opponent possibly have? They could have like a treasure mage to block, but our opponent's only got three mana. Oh, another land. We have 19 land in the deck. We've drawn five in this game. <laughs> that's so many. Alright, we'll attack for 11 with our 11 11 death shadow. Alright, our opponent concedes. Uh, we won. Thank goodness. Thanks for watching.